What's up everybody and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. This is in Java Minecraft 1.16.5 and today I'm going to show you how to build this fully automatic wool farm. This fully automatic wool farm is seven blocks wide by a chunk and a half long. However, it can be extended in any direction. This wool farm uses hopper minecarts to collect wool from the sheared sheep. The wool then gets placed into a dropper, which goes into this water elevator as the fastest method to collect the wool. And then it gets placed into these storage chests over here. This wool farm has a single redstone branch going straight down the center of the farm. Because of this, we can replicate one side of the farm directly on the opposite side, which in turn allows us to make this a more compact design. Trap doors allow the sheep to be accessible in case you want to change their color. And if you want to get rid of the moving minecarts and make this a little bit more compact, you can switch the collection system over to a single minecart on top of a hopper being fed into a chest directly under each sheep. To build this farm, you're going to need a stack and 36 glass blocks, one stack and 23 blocks of your choice, four redstone blocks, 16 dispensers, one stack and 15 hoppers, 29 powered redstone rails, 18 observers, 16 trap doors, 10 chests, 10 repeaters, 9 redstone dust, 7 torches, 16 sheep, 2 hopper minecarts, 7 source water blocks, 2 regular rails, a lot of shears, 1 dropper, 1 soul sand block, 1 sticky piston, and 1 comparator. To start building this, you're going to want to dig out a 5 by 17 area. Once you have that done, you can actually bring it down a block further. With a 2 by 5 by 17 block area dug out, you can then dig out a 3 by 17 area right in the center. You're going to end up with something that looks like this. At either end, you're then going to dig out a 1, 2, 3 blocks down and 3 blocks wide. Then you're going to move over 1 and up, and you're going to dig out the same thing. 3 down and 3 wide. And then lastly, you're just going to move over to the center of this 3 by 3 and dig out 3 blocks down in the middle you'll end up with something that looks like this. At the end here, you can actually place back two dirt blocks, and then you can actually remove one, two, three blocks from here, and then one, two, three blocks from right there. Grab a dropper and come over to this intersection or cross area right here. From this side, you're going to place the dropper looking at yourself right there. Grab a few hoppers and you're gonna place one going into the back of that dropper and then another. Then you're gonna go out to the sides like so, and then back to this dirt block on both sides. Should have something that looks like that. Then grab your redstone blocks and you're gonna come two blocks from the hoppers, so knock that one out. Opposite side, knock out the second block. Then go to the far end and knock out the second to last block on both sides, just like that. Grab your powered rails and bring them all the way down until the second to last hopper. Skip that hopper and place another rail there. Do the same thing on the opposite side. You should see that the powered rails are all powered except for that last one that we skipped. Now grab your regular rails and place them on that hopper. Grab your block of your choice, place it at the end of that rail on both sides. You can then grab your hopper minecarts and place them on the powered rails that are not powered. Then what you're gonna wanna do is place brass blocks all the way down on top of the rails on both sides. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is grab your observers and you're gonna start off not the block that's above the minecart, but the one over. So start here, placing the observers into that grass block, and then you're gonna skip one, another, skip one, another, and so on. You'll reach the end and you should have eight observers on one side, skipping every other block. You're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side in the same space, just like this. Then grab some torches and you're going to find the exact center of all of these observers. So place one here, place one there, skipping a block every time, just like this. And this will prevent mobs from spawning down here, but also allow you to see if you're ever working down underneath the farm. Then what you're gonna wanna do is grab more grass blocks and you're gonna put them between the observers. You're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And this is just going to allow the grass to grow a lot faster to feed the sheep. Grab the building block of your choice and you're going to put one directly behind the observers, then one above the torch, behind the observers, above the torch, behind the observers, and so on. You're gonna place your last blocks above these four hoppers. So you should have something that's looking like this so far. And then you're gonna grab your repeaters and you're gonna put one facing outwards here on four ticks. Turn around, do the same thing on four ticks. Then with the other repeaters, you're gonna place one here 
and then on every single recessed block. And those can all be on one tick. Then grab your redstone dust. You're gonna place those on top of those center blocks between the observers. And you're gonna place a last one right there. Grab your dispensers and you're gonna place those on the observers facing outward from the redstone dust. And you're gonna do that on both sides. Grab your glass blocks and you're gonna place one here, one here, and one here. And you're gonna do that for every single dispenser. It's gonna be like a zigzag type pattern with the glass. And then do that on the opposite side, another zigzag of glass. Then build up that center row of glass between the dispenser and the outer row of glass. And you're gonna do that to both sides. Then on top of the dispensers, you're gonna build up one glass block. Grab the trap door of your choice and you're going to build it right there at that level, but you need it to be above this glass block. So let's bring that out one. And that's gonna be there so that the sheep cannot jump out. And when it's folded down, it creates a nice flat surface for the wool not to be able to jump out from. So you're gonna do that for every single sheep pen. Once you have all those in place, you can just fold them all down. This is gonna be the best moment to get your sheep into the sheep pens if you're in survival. So build up a method for them to climb up and then just lure them in. In creative, we can just place down sheep just like this. Now you can already see that when they eat the grass, it's already activating the system. They're not getting sheared though because we haven't put the shears in just yet. But you can see that it is functioning. The mine carts are rolling. Grab your hoppers again, and you're gonna place hoppers on either side of the dispenser. So you can put one going into the side and then another one up. Do the same thing to the opposite side as you go. And that's gonna happen all the way down. All right, once you reach the last hoppers there or the last dispensers, you're going to then come back to the end, build up one more on both sides, and you're just gonna bring those all the way down. And you're gonna put a double chest on top of those last two hoppers. This is where you're gonna place all of your shears to feed the system to shear the sheep. You don't have to put them in just yet. Grab some glass. You're gonna put glass above each of the sheep. This is going to prevent them from jumping up and down like you're seeing. And that way they stay on the ground level in front of the dispenser so that you're sure that they'll get sheared. And just like that, the sheep pens are complete. You can then place blocks on top of all of the hoppers so that nothing else falls into the system. And for the collection system, you're going to come back, get a soul sand block. You're going to remove that block just below and in front of that dropper. Place down the soul sand block right there. Get your glass blocks back and you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to go six in front right here. And then you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six right there on the back side above the dropper. Grab your comparator. And you're going to place that coming out of the side of the dropper. Grab a sticky piston, remove that block in front of the comparator, and then place the sticky piston there. Grab your observer. You're probably going to have to remove these three blocks here. Place your observer looking into that comparator, just like that. Then turn around, and you're going to have to place another observer facing the opposite direction so that the back is actually looking into that glass block. You can then fill this hole back up. Grab more chests. You're going to place three double chests on top of each other, just like this. Grab some hoppers. You're going to place one hopper going into each chest right in front of where that water column is going to be. Grab glass blocks. You're going to place one, two, one, two on each side, and then one above that chest there. And then you can grab more and place three right up here. The last thing to do is to put some water into this system. Then of course, you're probably gonna have to remove one of these glass blocks to put the water in this system. So you're gonna remove that one, come down in here, place one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the seventh water block is gonna go right here and it's going to spill over onto that hopper, which will allow all of the wool to be placed into these chests. Then you can place this glass block right there so that nothing flies out of the system. With that all done, all you gotta do is make some shears, make a lot of shears, and you're just going to dump them all into these two chests right up here, like we said before. Once you do, you're gonna start to hear all the sheep being sheared, and wool will start flowing through the system, just like that. And that makes your wool farm complete. All you gotta do is sit back, AFK, and just watch all of the wool go into your system. You can open up the trap doors, dye your sheep different color, and it's just that easy. 
And that's it. That is your fully automatic AFK wool farm. I hope you guys liked this video. Hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, drop me a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments field below. Be sure to check out the description for cool things like links to my Discord or my Patreon. And I'll see y'all next time in the next Minecraft tutorial. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I'll see you later.